You're at the Grand Old Opera in Nashville, Tennessee, a legendary venue. It's been called the home of American music and country's most famous stage. Every year, hundreds of thousands of people travel across town or around the world to the Grand Ole Opry to see entertainment icons like Loretta Lynn, Dolly Parton, Carrie Underwood, and Brad Paisley perform live at the Grand Ole Opry. It began on the night of November 28, 1925, when an announcer on Nashville radio station WSM introduced fiddle player Uncle Jimmy Thompson as the first new performer on a new show called the WSM Barn Dance. Now that we got a little history of the place, it was time for Mother and I to go check out this historic venue. You know my mama loved me. I can't drive 24. We were parked over here by the Grand Ole Opry, legendary performing place out here in Nashville, Tennessee. The Opry has had six homes throughout its 90 plus years. The most recent move occurred on Friday, March 15, 1974, when the Opry said goodbye to the Ryman Auditorium to take up new residence at the newly built Grand Ole Opry House. We have Mom taking a selfie in the background. Out here at the Grand Ole Opry. Combs at stage. Luke Albert Combs, Grand Ole Opry member to be right there. <laughs> All right, over here at the Grand Old Opry, Legends area, we got Brad Paisley, Carrie Underwood, Dolly Parton. Yeah, I think that's Luke Combs. Had to take a selfie in front of these very large guitars. I'd be driving my first car in a worn out dog, trying to make rent with a dead end job, just making do. Tips in a jar, my guitar in an old bar stool. I'd have a Friday night crowd in the We went inside the Grand Old Opry gift shop and had a look around. I had a little fun with a couple toys. What does the fox say? Ding, 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 ding. Wouldn't do me. Five deep in a van, a head full of stink. Hot on the heels of my neon dreams. After touristing, we were hungry and we wanted barbecue. This mission barbecue is pretty good here. Over lunch, we were deciding what to do next. The General Jackson boat was close by, so we walked over to check it out. But we went pretty big the night before, so we weren't up for too much. <laughs> While checking out the boat, we were being entertained by the local geese.
popped into the Willie Nelson Museum real quick and got a fortune. Then headed over to the Dukes of Hazzard Museum where I really got a kick out of this place. I used to sit in my car seat swaying to the beat of the radio in the car. Riding around to that high lonesome sound of a fiddle and a steel guitar. Well, I was three years old and too young. But I could hear the music next door from Nashville Palace. Nashville Palace is where legendary singer Randy Travis got his start. Here we have a duet of Randy Travis and the young Carrie Underwood. When we got inside the Nashville Palace, up and comer Travis Baker. Learning what giving good hearted women and living was all about was on stage with Lexi Hayden. Show me where you grew up if more than tonight is what you want. I need to know where you're coming from cause I'm more than a step on my left hand and waking up alone. Boy, I need a man who wants to take me This Nashville Palace was a good time. Right next to Willie Nelson's museum in Cooter's Corner, Dukes of Hazard. Best show ever as a kid. And Nashville is great. What an experience. The music in this town really is amazing. Amazing to feel the experience of the songwriters. Well, that's a wrap from Nashville, Tennessee.